Brooks, Sheila Titus, Kendra Smith, and Eric Booth. Hi. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be able to breathe an amazing underwater world? Well, I'm here to tell you today. Um, near Norfolk Lake in Mountain Home, Arkansas, there is a place called Scuba Doo, and it's a shop where you can actually go and learn the classes. And if you called them, they would actually tell you that they have the best classes around, plus the best equipment, which would look something like this. Um, they are a scuba diving shop, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what scuba diving actually is, and hopefully get you to want to scuba dive. So, right here I have a woman who has a, a BC jacket, and she's an actual scuba diver, breathing underwater. And what scuba diving is, is it's when you breathe underwater for a long time, and you use an apparatus, as she has. Um, there are different levels to scuba diving, and these levels actually uh, start with the open water. And with the open water, you can uh, go down to about 60 feet, and at 60 feet, you can actually um, use spear guns and go spear fishing. You can uh, go to Lake Norfolk and go and spear some catfish, it's always fun. Um, there's the Adventure Diver, which is the next level, or Advanced, I'm sorry, the Advanced Open Water Diver. And at that level, you're allowed to go to 130 feet. And at 130 feet, you can actually do wreck diving, where there's tons of treasures to go around and find, and lots of fun stuff that you can do at that level. Um, with uh, the next class would be Rescue Diver. And you can actually, this is where you actually can start to get a job and you can work at, you know, in the uh, field of, of medical. Um, after that, there's the master scuba diver like me. I'm a master scuba diver. So, and that's why I'm able to tell you about all this. Then after that, you can become a teacher if you so choose. Uh, one of the reasons why I got into scuba diving is because um, I was interested in underwater welding. So that's what led me into it. There are all kinds of different neat things to learn uh, through the classes. One is that it actually is not as hard as some people would think. Scoop diving is actually uh, easier than walking because you're literally floating. So there's tons of different things to learn such as the underwater communication. One of the things that you would learn in your classes is how to say, I'm okay. And that would be something like this, or just plainly like this. Um, the next thing to, to tell you about is, um, according to the Pad I Dive Manual, once you complete the open water advanced and rescue diver classes, like I said, you can always move on your pathways to become master scuba diver or instructor. Um, and the main thing to know, uh, like I said, is, is that there is communication underwater. And the next thing to tell you about is the underwater reef. This is beautiful, absolutely amazing. The, the animals that are down there, as you can see right here, I mean, some of them are just absolutely huge and just awe-striking. The nudibranchs, the stingrays, the turtles. It's just an absolutely wonderful world down there. I, I just can't explain to you enough. Um, there are, so now that we have covered where to go diving around here, the safety certifications of diving and now how, and how fun and easy it actually is, hopefully by now you realize how neat scuba diving can be. Hopefully I have opened your eyes now to at least checking out the scuba diving experience for yourself. And hence, diving in the amazing underwater world is a magical, magical experience just waiting for you and others to submerge themselves into today. And I hope to see you in the waters someday. And oh, and by the way, don't forget to say hi to Nemo on the way down. <laughs>